In today's video, I take you to Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA. I'm going to show you three different camping spots in urban and downtown Nashville. You will see snippets from our Go Small, Live Large channel campout that occurred that same weekend. We get a special visit from famous Travato YouTuber, The Ginger Walkabout. And we visit historic sites. You'll want to stay to the end because as I was walking back one of those days, a live musician, I heard playing one of my favorite country songs of all time. Thanks for tuning in today. Really appreciate that. My name is Scott. I'm your host. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large, YouTube channel dedicated to the RV lifestyle, the Class B van, RV lifestyle in particular. We make these videos so you can become a better RVer, whether you are no time, still researching, part time, or full time like me. I live in my Winnebago Travato 59GL. Enjoy as we roll into tip number one on parking spot. 35 bucks. Let's go. In Nashville, Tennessee, at the Fairgrounds Nashville RV Park Inc. spots. They've got about 10 spots here. Really lovely, really huge. Look at this. You can put a Class A plus a vehicle or two in here on a single spot. At your site, you have water, sewer, and electricity. 30 bucks a night, $32 a night, I think it is. Left the big city for the simple country life Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way I was working on the ground come a sun up to sun time Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town So that was the mother church of country music Ryman Auditorium, Nashville, Tennessee Literally one block from the um, Tubbs record shop. So incredible to be in the same space as so many famous singers that many have um, started and ended careers there. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Again, if you're in the uh, Nashville area and you're into country music at all or history of music, uh, this is definitely a must see. Um, what's great is that the entry price, about 25 bucks, includes a picture on the stage. Uh, which is really, really awesome. And this whole experience, again, just kind of teaches me yet again the power of a decision. So there were two big decisions associated with this building that changed probably country music forever. Uh, the first decision is Ryman was a ship captain that uh, made a ton of money off of the Civil War um, on transportation. And he went to a Christian, I can't remember the uh, line, and uh, became saved, essentially, and decided they needed a, a temple a tabernacle building to house those of the faithful to save some souls and that was cool decision number two but when he died the then pastor made another grandiose decision which was to turn the auditorium into the Ryman auditorium dropping the name tabernacle and it essentially became a, an event space a musical concert hall and because of those two decisions we stand here today 
and um, so many famous people and really a whole genre of music was um, created here at the uh, at the Grand at the uh, Ryman Auditorium. Just So this is the $3 parking spot in um, near downtown Nashville, literally five blocks from all the action. Let me show you this. Luke. So here's Lily. This is the parking lot. Uh, nobody camped out with me overnight, which is pretty amazing. There's a truck of guys that came out. They left these scooters. Um, they were scootering around. There's a few bars um, just this direction. Um, according to the building owner, um, Bob Dylan just bought an old church, not this one here, but just over the, the other side of, the, of that building uh, to create a new brand of spirits. I think it was whiskey, bourbon, something like that. Um, anyway, this is a um, really lovely spot. Let me show you this. So this parking location is at the corner of 2nd Avenue South and Middleton Drive. These are condo buildings across. Um, this is one of the original fire uh, engine houses in Nashville. This was the original um, hospital. So a little bit of history you're parking with, literally three bucks, and you use the kiosk here to um, do your do your parking thing, right? And you can see here, this is the receipt the machine prints out that you put in your dash up front. Uh, so um, again, three bucks, pretty amazing deal. I rolled in about 2 p.m. and I'm good till 9 a.m. Uh, the next morning, which is amazing. Uh, it was pretty quiet overnight. The street is fairly busy now. It's about 7 a.m. Thursday morning, um, but we're really quiet overnight. Pretty safe. Um, had only one person approach the van, um, and that's okay. People are curious. And then I met the owner, which is nice. So he knew I was here, uh, which is pretty good. And then choose your spot. Now I chose this spot because it's kind of the most level, um, but clearly it's kind of in between. I can back out of this spot if I need to. Um, in case other cars parked there, but I didn't expect any cars and uh, I was right. Um, you're about six blocks from uh, all the action downtown Nashville and um, pretty cool, right? Hey, if you're getting anything out of this, I sure would appreciate a thumb up. That helps me know you like this content, helps others know you like the content, and helps YouTube know you like the comment and they share this out and that helps us grow the channel. Comment below, would you park in a spot like this, one of these three? Um, urban camping, as they call it, street camping in some cases, certainly an RV park, nothing street camping about that. And would you go to Nashville? Have you been to Nashville? What's your favorite thing about Nashville? And if you haven't been, what's holding you back? Oh my gosh. And um, subscribe. If you'd like to be part of the success of this channel, it'd be an honor to have you uh, a subscriber. Cost you nothing. Click the notification bell. When Scott sends a new video out, YouTube sends you an email. What could be easier than that? Really appreciate that. All right, this is the zero dollar parking spot, downtown Nashville. Let me show you around this lily clearly. Um, this is Second Avenue. So we were just on Second Avenue at the, um, the three dollar spot, right? This is a zero dollar spot. And what this is is a parking meter. It's a two hour meter, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. After that, it's free. What's groovy about this is right across the street, you can park for 40 bucks for a 24 hour period. This is free. 
And if you've ever been to uh, Nashville, uh, this is Hooters. So it's on the corner of uh, 2nd and, um, oh goodness, what's the name of the street? Uh, Old Spaghetti Factory is right down here. And two blocks is where is Broadway, approximately two blocks. And that is where um, all the action is. Hey, man. Uh, so this is Church Street. So Church and 2nd. I like this spot because it's the only parking meter in this section of the block. It is definitely at an incline, so I spun my head around, have my feet at the back door. Um, but I would highly recommend this spot um, because of the accessibility to all these great places. And the other great thing to check out in Nashville is right up here, which is literally a block, which is Printer's Row. Let's see, zoom in there so you can see that. Printer's Row is a collection of bars and restaurants and history. Um, right here in downtown Nashville. Again, Broadway's down here where all the honky-tonks and uh, country music stuff is located. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's three places to park, three different price points, 35, three, and zero dollars <laughs> um, in Nashville. Why come to Nashville? Country music and live music in general. Such a great town, just growing like crazy right here. And the other thing that's amazing is that Xfinity Wi-Fi is plentiful throughout the greater um, the downtown area. Um, it's faster in some areas, but if you are a Comcast customer and have Xfinity, um, you will get Wi-Fi here for zero dollars, and it's actually really pretty fast. Certainly manageable, and I have not had to have my um, Verizon hotspot on. I use my uh, WineGuard on top of my rig to pull in the Xfinity signal, and then distribute that to my devices. Yes, yes. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Gosh, if you got anything out of it, parking tip, uh, Wi-Fi tip, um, love country music, enjoyed some of those pictures. I sure to appreciate a thumb up. Uh, comment below, been to Nashville? Uh, what do you like about Nashville? Would you choose one of these parking spots? And as always, uh, if you're into the Class B RV, uh, RV lifestyle, uh, we'd love to have you part of this channel by being a subscriber to our channel. So with that, we say bye-bye from Nashville. Green, Hank Williams, Pink Song. Jerry Jeff's train songs and blue eyes crying in the rain. Out of Luke and Bob, Texas, ain't nobody feeling no pain. Said out of Luke and Bob, Texas, ain't nobody feeling no pain.